Hello, Dr. Nelson here. Okay. So, you said you have a lot of pain with this thing, huh? Yeah. Mm. I had some level of pain. I was very young and I've gotten through it in some fashion. This is a part. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't even like having anything on it. I don't like having anything touch it. I mean, one touch it. I don't even like that being on my foot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've got the pictures of the color changes and all that. And I'm just, I, I just feel like I mean, somebody comes near me and my reflex is to jump away. Uh -huh. And, you know, a lot of people, they just don't, so many people just don't get it. Um, you know, um, I worked um, uh, with Dr. Lance with it and we, just, we discussed it and you know, the anxiety and the, you know, the mood swings and so forth. And he said, your bipolar is still in remission, you're in pain. Mm -hmm. He said, I've known you since I've opened this practice. And you have your idiosyncrasies, but I know when you're in pain and I know when you're anxious. and. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're sitting hunched like this and every muscle in your body is tense up and you don't want to be touched, you know. Yeah. Um, so the first thing is the sympathetic nerve block. You've had one before or no? Um, yeah, I had one when I was having static pain in my, in my left leg. Mm -hmm. it, I had two successive ones. Maybe the first maybe two, they were called the first epidural? Yeah. The first all I know is they did need they stuck a needle in my back. The first two worked and after that nothing. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. zero relief from that and so they stopped doing them. Um and then the last interventionist that I saw turned me away um from doing any further Wait, first, yeah, do be fair don't put that back on because I didn't, didn't get a chance to examine you. Um and um because of my severe iodine allergy and the last time I had any form of steroid I had an acute psychotic reaction mm -hmm. because of the bipolar. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm just so tired. Okay. I think uh, the the doctor was synthetic block. Okay. I mean, you get a complicated situation. I know Marianne's running behind. Basically, you need to have a synthetic nerve block. I think that's what doctor. Um, Ronnie Johnson was yeah. that Yeah, yeah, he talked about that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, anyway, RSD, that's kind of what you gotta, that's kind of diagnostic injection, can be therapeutic, but, uh, you know, that's where you gotta start. Okay, well, then that's where we start. Huh? That's where we start. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, I gotta head out. Um, okay, so sympathetic nerve block and this issue about her having problems with, with steroids, you can do it without. Yeah, um, sympathetic block, we do not use steroids, it's vocal. So okay, yeah. all right. Um, Jennifer, can you um, slip off? Can I look at your other leg quick? quick oh, yeah, yeah, good. Just, what I'd like to do is be able to come. come, um, come well, here. this foot, I can feel it. It feels like ice. Can, is it, now, if I touch you down here, yeah, you can. It it'll now, hurt. It'll, it'll hurt. Even me barely touching you, it, it hurts. Can you wiggle your toes? 
can you go ankle up and down? What happens when you try it to hurts. do that? It's pain it hurts, hurts because my ankle's swollen from the um, ulcer in my foot. touch you and everything's fine no problem yes no, no. no okay so you did see another pain specialist who did you see no I saw the neurologist at Virginia Mason she said oh it's your psychological disorder you'll wake up one day and they'll be all gone well it's like me and stuck in the nightmare and it has it okay in can you push down okay now over here what can you do with this leg can you uh, lift it out can you you can, can lift, it, lift up. it up. And how about? But out seems to be a problem for some reason, but it's probably because of my knee and I have no quadricep muscle. <laughs> I was start. I was just starting aquatic therapy, and so you were trying to do that for your knee. I uh, know for for this whole thing. All right now, up here, up here, if I okay, that even that's hurting you. Now, if I touch here, does that feel like I'm touching you really hard? Can I feel behind your knee? Does that hurt too much? To, that, that hurts just even to do that? <coughs> yes? Yeah, I'm sorry. So right now, that's hurting when I touch the hole. You can feel me touch you, though. Oh, I feel it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me just... Ow! Just even that is hurting you a lot? Ow! Okay. All right. All right. Um, so Jennifer, if doctor does the uh, sympathetic block, sometimes he gives people some sedation. If you're going to have sedation, don't eat for four hours before the procedure. Okay. okay. I probably and will end up doing that because I have the right anyway. And oh, all right. So don't you okay. Know. Don't eat or drink for four hours. Take your usual medicines with a little bit of water. Okay. Most of my meds are liquid because I have absorption issues. Oh, okay. All right. And then the sympathetic block. Okay, so the sympathetic... Um, oh, this... Have you had I've, a chance I've, to find I've, out about I've, 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 ISD? I've, yeah. Oh, I I've, okay. I've, I've got a blog that I use to educate my doctor's office on RSD. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I feel for you. So normally, sometimes when doctors do a sympathetic block, he'll do them like a week apart. And uh -huh. the, the whole idea, part of this, is to quiet down the nervous system with, with the RSD, what's happening, if things are going on. Ah, I know what's happening. Okay. All right. It's so like, it's like it, it goes, it's like the vicious circle. It's like the cycle of pain, only it's in your sympathetic nervous system. Essentially. Now, it's the medication. Well, how long have you been on this uh, pain medication? Is that um, just well, I've been on a certain amount of pain medications for some time, but and why, not why, not why, why were you on this because of medication? The, the back problems, um, the osteoarthritis was not responding. Where's my other sock? Um, I had two of them. <laughs> Okay, I so a uh, certain amount. Do we have a diagnosis? What's wrong with your back? Uh, lumbar disc disease. I have, have you ever had a studies on that? Um, I've seen Dr. Lau next door. He said surgery will not do you any good. You are beyond surgery. Um, uh, you know, there, there is nothing I can do. Um, Scott Price evaluated me. He said the same thing, and so on, and so on, and so on. <laughs> and um, you so, know. if you've had any, Im if you've had any imaging, it's been all done at Virginia Mason. Uh, no, most of the imaging of my spine has yeah, been done, done at Everett MRI and Diagnostic. They said this morning they had. They were at least going to fax you the the um, the reports, 
and there is a preoperative report documenting the bilateral avascular necrosis. Okay. The, okay. So the every crappy part of it is, I had it looked at. The only good one. Ever yeah. MRI and diagnostic? Okay, yeah. so and so you had the back and your hips? No, no. The, no, I, I have nothing done to my back. No, but you had the imaging of your back done? I've had imaging after imaging study of my back. The most recent study of my back was done next door at Dr. Lau's office. And when was that done? Uh, when I saw him about two months ago, and he from the diagnosis. And that was an diagnosis. MRI? Yes, it was. Okay. And, and it was on the low back? It was a low back, yeah. Part of the problem is I have a slight scoliosis. Okay. And that also makes it more difficult for a surgical procedure to be effective, I probably would have to have AP fusion. Okay. And right, with, we'll get, RST, we'll get with RSD, I would so be screwed. Okay. All right. Well, so um, what we need to do is check with your insurance to see if they'll. Um, uh, so the right regents, regents, I think they probably will go for it because they didn't bat an eyelash on my on my hip surgery. I think, um, you know, there's, there's a lot they won't do for our